Hello everybody, welcome back to Channel Machine Arena. At this high-tech duck farm, over 28,000 Pekin ducks are raised in a closed, modern system. These ducks are selectively bred from premium parent stock, known for high fertility, robust growth, and excellent adaptability to intensive farming. On average, the farm produces more than half a million fertilized eggs per year, supplying hatcheries and food markets across the country. Each egg is hand-collected and transferred to a controlled incubation system where temperature and humidity are precisely regulated. Once hatched, ducklings are raised in clean, safe conditions with optimized nutrition. By 18 weeks of age, every bird has received four rounds of vaccinations, including one against salmonella, a crucial step in ensuring food safety from the source. The farm does not use free-range methods. Instead, ducks are raised in strictly monitored facilities to minimize risks from weather, disease, and predators. Fresh water is always available, feed is carefully formulated and monitored, and straw bedding is replaced regularly. This controlled environment reduces stress and promotes consistent productivity and healthy development. To ensure product integrity, the Green Duck program was established based on three core principles, safety, natural practices, and full traceability. Each egg is candled for quality inspection, gently cleaned to preserve its natural protective coating, and printed with batch number, lay date, expiration date, and a certified quality stamp. Clear labeling gives consumers confidence in the product's origin and safety. The barns are thoroughly sanitized after each flock cycle. Monthly lab testing is conducted to detect any potential contamination or health issues early. These rigorous steps ensure that all final products meet the highest food safety standards. Once the ducks reach maturity, they are transported to a certified processing facility. There, they undergo slaughter and processing under strict veterinary and food safety protocols. Each duck represents the result of careful, science-based animal husbandry, bringing high-quality, traceable duck products to both domestic and international markets. The journey begins with the slaughter and evisceration line. Ducks are first stunned, bled, scalded, and plucked using automated modules designed to meet hygiene and animal welfare standards. Once the carcass is cleaned, it is transferred to the evisceration line where internal organs are carefully removed. Once evisceration and byproduct separation are complete, the duck carcasses are chilled to reduce core temperature and maintain meat quality. Both air chilling and water chilling systems are commonly used depending on market requirements. After chilling, ducks move to the ACMNT duck cut-up system a modular and high throughput solution designed to cut duck carcasses into precise, consistent parts, such as wings, thighs, breasts, and saddle portions. The system handles up to 6,000 ducks per hour and supports carcasses up to 2.8 kilograms. It uses sensors and mechanical blades to make anatomical cuts with extreme precision. The modular design allows flexibility. Processors can configure the system to meet specific market demands or product programs. This high efficiency cut-up line helps processors maximize yield while reducing labor dependency. For value-added duck products like boneless breast meat and wing portions, the FHF desk skinner is a game-changer. Originally designed for broiler chickens, it can also be adapted for ducks with similar front parts. 
This automatic deboning system specializes in separating breast fillets and wings. It ensures high yield and excellent meat quality with minimal bone fragments. With its robust and modular design, the system is suitable for integration into high-volume duct processing lines. The FHF module boosts production output while maintaining consistent product specs for further processing or retail packaging. Once duct portions are prepared, either bone-in or boneless, they move to the next critical step, weighing and portion control. This is where the multi-head weigher, fresh poultry system shines. This machine efficiently handles sticky or irregular shaped duct parts, like marinated wings or skin on breasts. It combines speed and accuracy by calculating the best product combination to match a target weight, ideal for tray packing or vacuum sealed exports. Its 14 or 20 head configuration and smart vibration feeders ensure a continuous product flow with minimal giveaway. Integrating this solution not only minimizes product waste, but also ensures compliance with strict packing standards in global markets. One of the key byproducts during this stage is the gizzard, a popular delicacy in many markets. However, processing gizzards is labor-intensive if done manually. To improve the efficiency of gizzard handling, the duck gizzard peeling machine is integrated into the line. As seen in the Duck Gizzard Processing Peeling Machine for Slaughterhouse video, this specialized equipment automates the removal of the yellow inner membrane that coats the gizzard. The machine uses a combination of rollers and controlled friction to gently peel the membrane without damaging the organ. Designed in stainless steel, it is robust, easy to clean, and capable of processing large volumes per hour. This step ensures uniform product quality, better hygiene, and minimizes the risk of contamination. Cantonese-style roast duck is a beloved dish in southern China, especially in Guangdong and Hong Kong. Known for its savory flavor, crispy skin, and juicy meat, this dish requires a careful process to achieve perfection. Let's walk through the traditional preparation from start to finish. The process begins with a whole duck, usually about two to three kilograms. The duck is thoroughly cleaned and any remaining feathers are removed. The neck and wing tips may be trimmed some chefs inflate the duck skin using a pump or straw to separate the skin from the fat underneath, a key step for achieving that signature crispy texture. A flavorful marinade is prepared using Chinese five spice powder, salt, crushed garlic, sugar, soy sauce, shayoxing wine, and sometimes ground ginger. This aromatic mixture is rubbed inside the duck's cavity to infuse the meat with deep flavor. Once filled, the cavity is stitched shut with skewers or butcher's twine to keep the seasoning sealed during roasting. The duck is then dipped or brushed with a maltose syrup glaze mixed with vinegar and water. This glaze is crucial for the final color and crispiness of the skin. After glazing, the duck is hung in a cool, airy place for several hours or overnight. Some kitchens use a fan to speed up the drying process. This step allows the skin to tighten and dry, essential for crisp roasting.
Traditionally, the duck is roasted in a special vertical oven or hung in a wood-fired roasting chamber. Modern kitchens may use convection ovens. The duck is roasted at high heat, around 200 to 220 degrees Celsius or 390 to 430 degrees Fahrenheit, for about 40 to 60 minutes, depending on the size. The skin turns a deep reddish brown and the fat beneath the skin melts away, leaving it thin and crispy. Once the duck is fully roasted, it is allowed to rest for a few minutes to let the juices redistribute. The duck is then chopped into bite-sized pieces and often served with plum sauce, steamed rice, or wrapped in thin pancakes. Some restaurants serve it with pickled vegetables or hoisin sauce on the side. Cantonese-style roast duck combines technique, patience, and classic Chinese flavors. From the careful drying of the skin to the fragrant marinade and roasting methods, each step plays a critical role in creating a duck that is tender, flavorful, and irresistibly crispy. It's not just a meal, it's a piece of culinary art that showcases the elegance of Cantonese cooking. Salted duck eggs, or Tellerbebeka Sin, are a popular delicacy in Indonesia, especially in Brebs, Central Java. To make this savory treat, you'll need fresh duck eggs and a mixture of salt, clay, and water. First, prepare the brine by dissolving salt in water. Then, coat the eggs with this brine, followed by a layer of clay for a traditional touch. Once the eggs are fully covered, let them sit in the mixture for about two weeks to fully cure. The result? A rich, salty flavor that pairs perfectly with rice, kanji, or even as a snack. Indonesian salted duck eggs are not only a tasty treat, but also a great source of protein. Enjoy them as a side dish, or incorporate them into various recipes for a unique twist.